Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us as we study God's Word together through these devotionals. Today, we're going to be looking at a parable that Jesus taught found in Mark chapter 4, verse 21 through 23. Read with me. It says, Then Jesus asked them, Would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will shine. For everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the light or into the open, and every secret will be brought to light. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. You know, every time I hear this passage, I go back to Sunday school and hearing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I can still remember seeing that. And then my favorite part was the hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I love that part. I remember thinking as a kid, what is a bushel? And what does that mean? Now I know, and we're going to take a look at this today to look and see what did Jesus mean when he said that. You see, he was saying light is meant to illuminate, and it should be put in a place where it can do just that. It can illuminate. You know, this light represents the message of God or the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and it's meant to illuminate. Jesus makes a very simple but profound statement. He says, why would you want to hide this? Why would you want to hide this? You know, when the disciples heard this parable, I'm sure they pictured what they would normally see in a basket in those days. They probably pictured a basket that would hold grain, could hold like two gallons of grain. And when they pictured a bed, it's not like you and I picturing a bed today where we see a bed up high on a frame, but they probably pictured more like a pallet on the ground with cushions. So when he was saying this, he's like, where are you even going to put it? If you're hiding it, it'd be under a blanket completely or under a basket. He's saying there's a proper place for this message. And when it's placed there, it brings illumination. We remember our need for him and our sin is revealed. You know, this light reminds us that we need Jesus who forgave our sins and brought us back into relationship with God. It's illuminated. You know, look back at verse 22. Jesus goes on to say something. He says, For everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the open, and every secret will be brought to light. Wow. Everything is going to be revealed. You know, the light has a way of revealing things. Eventually, we're all going to be held accountable for the things and the life that we've lived. Light will shine on the things that we've tried to keep in the dark. And you know, it's a natural response for me and for anyone when you feel guilt or you feel shame of something to hide it. We don't want anyone to see it. But there's something that happens when we reveal those things to God and we allow God's light to shine on those things. Healing happens in us, but also there's this This peace that comes when you fully give it and it's not hidden anymore. It's not in the dark. It's illuminated. You see, God's light is never meant to destroy, but to reveal. His light was never meant to destroy, but it was meant to reveal. It's meant to bring us to him, not push us away from him. The gospel itself is so inviting and it's asking us to come. Now, I want to ask you two questions today so we can take this passage and apply it to our life today. So I want to challenge you. Ask yourself two things. The first thing I want you to ask yourself is, are you letting the light of God shine in your life? Are you letting the light of God shine in your life? As you read God's word, we all know what it's like. You read a scripture and you feel some conviction. That's God's light lighting up some things, illuminating some things, exposing some things in us. Do you allow that to bring you closer to him? Or does it push you away? It should bring us closer because remember, his light is meant to reveal, not to push us away. We're not supposed to hide it. We're not supposed to put it under anything, but we're supposed to allow it to reveal, let it shine. When we read God's word, let's let it light up 
the things in our life that are needed. So are you letting the light of God shine in your life? And the second thing I want to ask you today is are you sharing the light? Or I could say it like, are you sharing what you've been given? You know, I think we've all been given talents and gifts, and we can use those gifts to go. We can use those gifts to serve on a weekend team at church or to go on an outreach. That's allowing the light of God to shine through you. You know, there's a scripture that says, let your light shine before men that they'll see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That's our purpose of using those talents so that non-believers see and they recognize. So are you sharing that light with others? could be your talents, but it also could be just the gospel. You know, we've been called to be the light of the world, to go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Let's be that light. So two questions. Are you letting the light of God shine in your life? And are you sharing the light? You know, God is going to use you. He's going to use what he's doing in you to reveal himself to others. Your life is a testimony of the goodness and the love of God. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much that you have called us the light of the world. And we are not to take that light and to hide it, but to put it somewhere where it can shine. God, illuminate in us right now. Reveal to us the things that we need to do God, we confess our sins to you. I'm so sorry for the things I've done wrong. God, we reveal those things to you so that you can bring light to them and so that there can be healing. That's what your word says. Confess your sins to one another so that you may be healed. So Lord, we pray that that would happen today for everyone listening. And God, then we pray that we would allow our light to shine before men. God, that people would see what you are doing in our hearts and our lives and know that that can only be through the grace and the love of a caring father. So Lord, I pray that we would be vessels. God, that we would hold that light and we would let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.